morning and welcome to News 10 Night Watch. Inactive train tracks, they're an all too common sight in the Wabash Valley. But plans to remove a large section of railroad track are underway in Terre Haute. News 10's Lindsay Yates has the latest on the project that will beautify the city. Inside the medians that run along First Street in Terre Haute are railroad tracks, ones that haven't seen a train in years. But removing them... That process just takes time. Efforts that city engineer Chuck Innes tells us have been underway for 10 years and have been anything but simple. They have to be sure that they're not going to use the tracks ever again because once they come out, they come out and never to come back in. And soon, these tracks will be history. This week, crews can be seen removing crossing signs. A contractor hired by CSX will be coming in the next couple of weeks to remove the tracks and the ties. It marks the beginning stages of a bigger plan to turn First Street into a boulevard. Plans are to um, fill the bed, or the old rail bed, with uh, with topsoil. That project will be up for bid, but on top of beautification, the city also plans to put some turn lanes in on some of the uh, select intersections to give a little more room for traffic to get around. And while plans are chugging along, Innes says exact dates haven't been set. We'd like to get a good bit of it done this fall. To make your first street drive a little more pleasant. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The project runs from where Park Street intersects with First Street north to Tippecanoe. We'll keep you updated on the project as more changes are made.